guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics entertainment celebrities and metro stories we have another trending news for you today and the headline you read federal government to punish justice taiwo for granting showere bell all right before i proceed further to uh, broadcast today's news please if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there's a red subscribe button below this video now just go ahead hit that red subscribe button click the bell icon beside it so as to remain updated whenever we publish news like this in the future without you ever missing any news again all right now the news in details there were indications last night that the federal government was contemplating reporting justice taiwo taiwo to the national judicial council ngc on account of his decision to grant bail to the convener of the revolution now protest Mise, Omoyele Shewore. Justice Taiwo of the Federal High Court in Abuja admitted Shewore to bail on Tuesday and dismissed the objection raised by the Department of State Security DSS to the bail. The nation gathered last night that a shocked Nigerian security and intelligence community met on the matter yesterday and resolved to appeal the judgment. It also decided to petition NJC on the issue. A top government source who spoke to the nation on condition of anonymity said that anyone standing trial for treasonable felony is not entitled to bail. He said Shewara's bail is likely to bring trouble for that judge. A report has been reported, a report has been prepared to report him to National Judicial Council, that is NJC, in view of the fact as far as this country is concerned, it is known that the person charged with treasonable felony has no bail option. So the security and intelligence community in the country is shocked by the judgment. And there is a consensus that the judgment should not only be appealed, but that the NJC should be petitioned about the conduct and abuse of power by the judge. Shore was arrested and kept in custody of the DSS since 10 August 2019 for allegedly calling for revolution through the group's protests fixed for March for sorry for 5th of September 2019. Shore on Thursday commenced a contempt a contempt suit against Director General of the DSS Yusuf Bichi for allegedly disobeying the order granting him bail. On Wednesday, his lawyer submitted his passport to Deputy Chief Registrar of the Court. Meanwhile, Shewode remained in the custody of the Department of Security Service SSS last night, 72 hours after a federal high court granted him bail. His lawyers claimed yesterday that the DSS refused to comply with the court order even after his bail conditions have been met. It was gathered that a court bailiff hearing the document confirming that the bail condition had been met was not allowed into the DSS premises Abuja yesterday morning. He was asked to come back at 12 noon, which he did. This time a document was collected from him and Shawore's lawyer at the gate, yet he was not released. Shawore is facing a trial for treason related charges. Justice Taiwo Taiwo ordered the release of the convener of the Revolution Now protests on Tuesday on the condition that his lawyer, Mr. Femi Falana San, produce him for arraignment wherever he is required. All right, guys, this is the development, and um, this is why we keep on saying that this country is not working again because something is wrong long time ago. Could you imagine? A competent court, a federal high court, had granted Shewore Bell and the DSS are still holding him. This 72 hours, he has not been released, but rather, what we are hearing now is they want to appeal it. You know, it's not common, you, you don't easily see um, a government agency, you understand me, easily appealing a judgment. What they do, they abide by that court ruling. Okay, but now they not only want to appeal the ruling, but they want to report Justice Taiwo Taiwo to National Judicial Council. Man, this is the height of impunity we've experienced in this country of recent. I don't know what is actually uh, going on.
What has Shawari actually done? Did they carry gun? You see, the, the, the truth of the matter that international community need to come into this. They need to come into this because this is getting out of hand. Could it be they want to kill this guy? You know that says, this guy here, Sha, I mean, uh, um, Shawari had actually, um, shall I say, he has stepped on a lot of toes through his publications in Sahara Reporter. He has exposed a lot of corruption. In fact, his, his main purpose for setting out Sahara Reporters is to expose corruption. And he has done it to a greater degree. So now they've got this guy, they don't want to release him. They want to really, he's in their net now. This guy has exposed a lot of corruption, which all of you, you are all aware of it. So now they've got him. They don't want to release this guy. This is a height of impunity. A court asking, and in fact, the court even even threatened him after Femi Falana, the 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 the, the, uh, the barrister, the lawyer for Shawore, you know, he filed a contempt suit against the DSS director Bichi. And they and according to the they say the lawyer, they the judge threatened that if they don't release the order that he will send the director of DSS to jail. But you see, the problem is not only just sending or uh, actually uh, uh, giving an order, or these guys actually flaunting the court judgment. You see, they know that there was a flaunt court judgment, nothing is going to happen, nothing is just gonna happen. They know that they know that the cabal. You understand me? They are behind the cabal are behind them. Whatever they are doing, they know the cabal is behind them. Buhari's government is known for not, you know, actually honoring court, um, uh, uh, court order. For instance, if you look at this guy Dazuki, Dazuki is there now. He's going to five years. Okay, this is more than four years now. Dazuki has not been released in spite of the fact that even West African court. I've even asked that Dazuki should be released on bail. Okay, but the federal government have refused anything. According to what we are reading now, they say anybody actually charged with treasonable felony, there is no bail condition for that person. That's what they are saying. So, but if there is no bail condition for you, the truth of the matter is that it's what Trowede did. Is it actually a treasonable felony? staging a protest is it a treasonable felony didn't the apc uh, 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 officials didn't worry and his apc stalwart actually stage a protest during the time of jonathan but at 2011 and also 2013 was it 2013 or 2014 they staged a protest a revolution for a change of government but has anything happened to them I feel this guy should be either Buari should look at him as a son and actually forgive him. If according to what they say, they say he has insulted Buari. Okay, if you look at it, that's what that's what the DSS said. They said he has actually insulted Buari. Now, when has insult become a crime? Insult is just a moral issue. It's a moral issue. You understand me? It is not a crime. For heaven's sake, if you insult your elder, it's not a crime, it's a moral issue, which according to the society, society frowns upon it. But according to the law, it's not a moral issue. Somebody could say, oh, I'm sorry for insulting you. It's as simple as that. When has it become a crime? So I don't know. I don't know. You guys should uh, actually respond to it. Let me know what you think about this. But to me, the way I'm looking at this, this is getting out of hand. This is beginning to get out of hand, and um, could it be this guy's life? They want to in, in permanently imprison this guy for life to serve as a deterrent to others. You remember, this guy wanted to stage a protest. That was a two-faced idibia. He wanted to do it, and he was threatened. You understand me? He was threatened to submission, and he backed out. He backed out of it. So, but this guy, Yeshuare, Everybody who know him knows that this guy is a rugged guy. Okay, he has once been a decent a, 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 a SUG governor in Lagos State University, and those who know who were during who, who who know this guy during that time know that he is a very rugged type. He doesn't take bribe. He doesn't compromise. He speaks for the masses. He speaks for the poor. He is a voice for the poor. So 
i want you guys to drop your comment below and let me know what you think but for the meantime for those of you who want to get trained online on how you can make money from your youtube channel please you can uh, check the link below in the description you are going to see um how you can get registered for this course okay and once you get registered for this course and you pay for it i'm going to train you online entirely free on how you can make money publishing videos to your youtube channel i have trained so far up to 10 channels as i'm speaking to you now are making 100 100 dollars daily from youtube so if you are interested and you want to make money i'm going to show you my my demo i'm going to show you the demo the screenshots you understand me of my adsense accounts for my youtube so that you know i'm not here to joke i'm not kidding i'm going to show you my screenshot you'll see i make hundred dollars i make 150 dollars some days some days i make 80 dollars and so for the days i don't work much i make 80 but the day i work more i make up to 150 dollar a day 150 dollar is around 40 more than 45 thousand naira okay a single day so i'm going to show you just watch this video now as watch the video now and then if you're interested contact me through the screen the the link below in the description and i'll get the course across to you thank you all right you're welcome to emacom tv adsense uh, dashboard this is my dashboard for my adsense account so i'm viewing my earnings for this month you can see this is between september 1st to uh september 24th today is 24th of september 2019 so i'm going to be showing you my earnings so far so far i've made over one thousand dollars so sorry it's not showing very well but if i scroll up let me scroll up to the end uh let me show you what i mean you see my entire total so you can see it's one thousand and eighty dollars let me show you total you can see that's totals there so that is it. so i'm going to start from beginning let me show you what i am making on daily basis there are some days I didn't post videos at all. So on those days, I didn't actually make uh, much money. So, but there are some days I, let me just show you, and there are particular dates. This was um, September 1. If I check here, you see that day I made $11. Uh, not much, but I'm going to show you. As I scroll up further, I'll show you the days I actually make bigger money. And those were the days I actually posted video. You can see this day here. Yeah? I made $104 in just one day and that was 12th of September that day I had 99,000 page views so I had $104 this other day $85.74.34.82.85.71 not bad and then this day $101 again then I'll show you the one that will blow your mind this one is $152 Okay, let me check the particular day. That was just uh, September 23rd. That was Monday, just this Monday that just passed. September 23rd, 2019. I made $152. And today being, today is, um, today is 24th of September. I have 41,000 views. And I've already made 60 three dollars already maybe before today we'll run out and we make up to hundred dollars or so today i've not made i've only just made only one video today okay i've not even made any video today i haven't made any video today so but the residue of what i did yesterday and previous days is what i'm still earning till today so that is it so if you are interested for this course and you want to learn how to start making your own youtube video and uploading to your channel please you can contact us go to our website purchase the course and then you can start any money uh today you can start any money on youtube on passive income you get you can start making money on passive income so that is it so so far this month i have been able if you add all of them all together I've been able to earn up to $1,083. So, but um, be, before the month expired, it's just remaining another um, seven days. Before this month expire be, at 31st of June, before today, I'm going to earn up to $2,000. So, uh, just take your advantage of this. Start learning how to make YouTube, and you're not going to regret it. So, this is Emma Com TV. Thank you. God bless you.